Dr. Mark Changizi here with your Science Moment. Today I'm going to talk about virtue signals, and I'm going to talk about some developments that are frankly dangerous. Many of the skeptics like me that have pointed out the uselessness of the kinds of interventions from face masks to social distancing to lockdowns and the kinds of hysteria that led to uh, not standard practice medicine after it, back in March and April that uh, it, it raised the number of deaths, people that point out these things are what are ruining the interventions. So let me give you an example. Um, when you wear a mask, this is how you should wear it. Um, you should wear it the normal way, like you're supposed to, which is in fact uh, what nearly all of us, in fact, do everywhere that we are supposed to. Now, it doesn't work. Vi vi you know, masks are designed uh, for medical personnel, so they stop spittle, which is bacterial ridden from going in open wounds and things like this. It stops small uh, spittle, small droplets. Viruses, cold viruses, seasonal cold and flu viruses spread by viral aerosols. They go right through these things, right around the gaps, they sp they, and they breathe into people's lungs. It doesn't stop anything. Now, and there's many downsides, which I've, some of which I've talked about, and, and on Twitter I've talked about a ton of those. But we still wear them. We still do the lockdowns. We've been doing what we've been told. And one way you know that it's a virtue signal is that if I was to do this instead, it's because this has become a sign of, okay, I'm going to wear it because you're telling me to wear it, and I don't want to wanna be a problem to the business because the business doesn't have a choice in the matter. And a smiley face just says, I'm doing it, but I don't agree. But you could imagine if everybody started to know what this means, because not enough people know that, they're going to be annoyed. If I walk into a place like this saying, basically, it's a middle finger, say, I'm wearing it, but I don't agree, I'm going to be the target of some attention. And that's, in fact, what we're finding today. Blue checks on Twitter with a half a million or 1.5 million followers are saying, these people are the folks, these folks are to blame for this many deaths, for this many hundreds of thousands of deaths. They are to blame. This is what happens when you've created interventions that are effectively magic. Of course they're not going to work. None of these things have ever been standard protocol. All of these things obviously don't work, as I talked about back in March when this all started. Even though we followed it, if we didn't follow it with sufficient zeal, religious zeal, we are going to be the targets. When a cult develops, you can't just be a, a member of the cult. You've got to show zeal. If you show insufficient zeal or you show direct contradiction to the, to the zeal you're supposed to have, even though you're following the rules, when their ideas don't work to bring rain or whatever is it they're trying to do, um, you will be blamed. And what, we can talk another time about why you'll be blamed. Short story for why you'll be blamed is in the new social narrative, the narrative that goes along with this, the people that have high reputations within that narrative are those that are under this mass delusion that these interventions are needed. And those who are saying no to this, they've been saying, no, you're just saying, you're just making up stuff. You're basically evil. They've, we've got low reputation within that social narrative. Who are you going to blame when things don't work out for you very well? You blame those with low reputation. And within that social narrative, the folks that are skeptical, like us and millions all over the world, are the ones that they are, in fact, blaming. So I only have one word to those who would potentially blame me for wearing a mask and losing our livelihoods, as many of us around us, and our health uh, for no reason. I'll just leave you with this.